Hey folks, Grannis and Shines here with Saduri International and thank you very much for watching this video. I often get the question of how does your program fit into what we do as a business owner. And so if you're a solopreneur, an entrepreneur, or a small business owner, for you, you'll find that it's all about the meeting that you're going to have, the event you're going to go to, or the presentation that you're going to give, whether that presentation is a one-on-one -on -one presentation or in a group fashion, as you see in the background picture here. On the other side of this are a bunch of skill sets that you need to have in play or ready to go before, during, and after the meeting. So there's three aspects of what we teach here with our program. First of all, again, as you see here, it's all about the meeting that you're going to be in, whether that meeting you're talking to that person, most likely you're probably talking to them to be one of your clients, acquire one of your products or services, and or become a partner, right? That's what it's all about for a business owner. Going to an event, going to an event to make sure that you then can talk about your products or services. If you are, say, a presenter or if you're networking, if you're going to a networking event, that would be the same thing, talking about your products and services, what you do. And then a presentation that you're going to give. And most of the time, you're going to be giving the presentation at one of your meetings or, or even at an event, right? But there's certain skill sets that you have to have in play before, I should say, before the meeting before the event of presentation. There are certain skill sets that come into play during the meeting, the event, and or the presentation. And then there are certain skill sets that come to play after the event, the meeting, or the presentation. And it is incumbent upon us as business owners to make sure we have these skill sets as part of our arsenal before we even get to the meeting, before we get to the event, before we get to the presentation. So you have to have, in our program, there are 43 different Skill sets that we have identified, soft skills that you can utilize as an entrepreneur, ranging from, let's talk about the ones before. These are not all of them. I'm giving an example of the ones that I put them in specific categories of what you need to have ready to go in each one of these particular sections before, during, and after the meeting. So for nonverbal communication, absolutely. Verbal communication, you have to be able to understand what that is before the meeting, because when you get to the meeting, you're going to be utilizing this skill set. Creating a personal brand, you have that personal brand to attract people again before the meeting, executive presence, research skills, listening skills, and so forth. These are critical skill sets to have in play before you go to the meeting. Now, when you are at the meeting, there are other skill sets that come into play. Just to give an example, influential and or persuasive skills, the political skills, the empathy and the emotional intelligence or empathy intelligence, as uh, they're really talking about now making sure that you understand how to instill confidence. Again, that it is a another skill set, instilling confidence in someone else about you to make sure that you're the right person for the job and or that your product is the right solution for them. Making sure you manage your time in the meetings and closing the sales and everything else, right? Closing the deal, closing the sale. And then after the meeting, you have the follow-up skills that come into play, your written communication skills, you're gonna send a proposal, still your verbal communication skills because if you haven't closed the deal then, and you have the type of business where you're going to close the deal after the fact, where after you send the proposal, then the verbal communication comes into play. So you have all these skill sets that come into play in each one of these areas, and it's incumbent upon us to really know how to utilize them. So this is where the our program, the Communication Confidence Blueprint, fits into your daily operations as an entrepreneur, as a business owner. Okay, so this kind of gives you a 10,000 foot view we get very, very granular and very detailed in the programs. Program number one being the essentials of verbal and nonverbal communication. Program number two, mastering stage presence, and then so forth and so forth out program number six. So making sure that you have these skill sets readily available for you. The communication skill sets will we teach. The verbal and nonverbal communication skill sets will help you grow your business, will help you leverage skill sets that most people haven't really paid attention to. They know they need them, but they haven't really sat down and gone through a course or been coached through them on how to utilize them effectively. Presentation skills being one of them as an entrepreneur, you're always going to be talking to people, always going to be presenting, and it's coming up on us to also know how to utilize these skill sets strategically. All right, folks, Grandis and Shine just wanted to give you an idea of where our program fits into your daily operations. Give us a shout here at Saduri International. You can email me personally at g at sudurintl.com, S-E-D-U-I-R-E-I-N-T-L.com. 
and you can get a hold of me there. All right, folks, talk to you later. Bye.